Hello YouTube, this is Multi Holsters coming at you once again with uh, one gun that uh, I've had since I was uh, a young wee lad and uh, probably in my uh, late teens, early 20s. It's one of the first guns I've ever purchased and I wanted to um, feature it today in a video and it is the uh, beloved Colt Mustang 380 plus two. This gun, for the age of it, it's in pretty decent condition. It's not mint, but uh, it is a little scratched up. Um, but, you know, this is uh, a gun that I really enjoyed. I uh, put a bunch of rounds through it, and to this day, I still put a bunch of rounds to, through it. Um, to me, a gun is uh, something to be used. And uh, even though I do cherish this, um, I do try to take as good a care of it as I can. And for those of you who are familiar with this weapon, uh, understand what I'm talking about. Um, it is obviously safety checked. Magazine is empty. And we are safe. Love that gun so much that uh, I had to get its uh, predecessor, which is the Sig Sauer uh, 380, the, the P238. And, um, you know, it's, it's a close second it's uh it's not a bad little weapon but um actually it's an awesome weapon what am i saying but uh it's it's definitely not the colt 380 obviously has uh, some new features to it and um this also is a a very awesome weapon for you know uh for for the times uh compared to when this one was made this one was uh discontinued in uh I believe the uh, late 90s and I purchased this one in uh, it was actually the late 80s early 90s I can't remember when I've had it for so long but uh, it is one of my favorites and all the guns that I have it is one of my favorites probably one of the most valuable weapons too not that it's incredibly valuable but you know by by the size of it and the standards of it it, uh, it definitely uh, has a little bit of value to it and I was elated when I heard that Colt was putting out a uh, new version of this. It's called the Colt Pocket Light 380. And um, I have been searching high and low to find one, and I cannot do so. So if anybody out there in YouTube land has a line on one that I am able to get, not only would I be indebted to you, but uh, you name your holster and your mag pouch, however many holsters you want, I will try to accommodate. Uh, obviously, I'm not talking about spending a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars on the new version of this, but uh, you know, within reason, I would definitely set you up with some holsters. Reason I wanted to come to you today with with this gun is, you know, I've been doing some searching and I really can't find anybody who has a holster for it now. You may say, well, not a whole lot of people have this gun. Not a ton. I mean, obviously, there, there's a select few uh, that still have this weapon around. And those who have it probably aren't carrying it. But the new pocket light is coming out, and it is the exact same specifications as this. And I'm hoping to get a real one or a new one so I can actually start making holsters for it because I believe this is going to be a, a pretty hot... Um, weapon, carry weapon, um, a lot of people are very interested in it and um, you know hopefully I'll be one of the first ones making holsters for it. So without further ado, I wanted to come to you. This is a holster that I made. Of course I'm a left-handed shooter and uh, all these holsters here are my personal carry weapon holsters and uh, so obviously don't think I just make left-handed holsters. Of course, I make right-handed holsters, but for for these this video and, and for these purposes, it is left-handed. This is an inside the waistband. I do offer a uh, rubber belt loop. Um, they do come in handy. And uh, if you're wondering what this little notch is, when the gun is cocked and locked, I kind of like having the feature of having the safety taken off when I withdraw the weapon. So if I get into a situation where 
I forget to take the safety off or something like that and shame on me if I'm a 1911 carrier and uh, this is for all intents and purposes a 1911 uh, if I forget to take that safety off it will do it for me so that is the uh, inside the pocket I'm sorry inside the waistband holster for a Colt Mustang now of course with that weapon and the new one that's coming out I make all different kinds. This is a pancake style. This is Holstex. You've seen me feature it in other videos, but I do want to bring it out and just let you know I am uh, featuring uh, um, holsters for these small 380s. Of course, retention, retention screws. Um, this one, this gun also has a Crimson uh, Trace light guard on it, laser guard, I'm sorry. And uh, that is a outside the waistband for the SIG 238. Of course, also, um, I'm, I, I really like carrying this weapon in the pocket. It's a great pocket gun. Um, forgive this piece of Kydex, it does have a couple of burn marks, but basically anything that I screw up here in the shop, um, I don't like putting it uh, in the garbage can. I like uh, uh, using it, um, utilizing it, um, recycling it, and that kind of thing. So. When I put my stuff out, you're not going to get stuff with burn marks. But uh, anyway, so this is a great little pocket holster. It has a couple of points that get hung up in the in the pocket. It does have a, uh, a little routered out area here that you can maneuver and manipulate the uh, safety if need be. Need be. It does have re a little bit of retention, uh, but very very light because obviously it's it's just made to uh, to uh, protect the the trigger guard and whatnot when it's inside the pocket and of course I make inside the waistband holster this basically all the holsters that I have here are 0.08 kydex the clips any clips that I use that I make external clips um, are made out of 0.125 kydex so they are thicker they are heavier duty basically this is what I call the fold over clip it has a couple of uh, of uh, routed out little notches on the bottom of it. So you put your fingers in here and you pull up as need be. See if you can see this. And you can put it over the belt inside the waistband or take it out. And uh, I also try to incorporate a uh, retention screw with a rubber grommet so you can adjust it once you get it home. And uh, you know, I've been reading a lot of people who say, you know, this has this this holster has too much retention, not enough retention. Well, as far as I know, I'm one of the only ones, and I'm sure there's a couple others out there. But uh, basically, uh, I, I try to incorporate a retention screw so you can have uh, a little bit of adjustment. Now it's not a ton, but uh, basically it's more than uh, than than most holsters of this uh, caliber uh, give you. Uh, they give you. Um, uh, a holster and uh, that's pretty much it. You have to do your own retention with a hair dryer or a heat gun but uh, I just uh, have a, a screw in here like a Chicago style screw that you can adjust it with a little bit of uh, with a little bit of uh, play in it. But nonetheless that's what I wanted to come at you with today is uh, I am going to hopefully be getting a uh, my own new Colt Mustang 380 pistol soon. Um, if anybody has a line on one I would love to hear about it because, boy, I would love a, a, a new style one. See how it uh, compares to the old style. But uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I hope to talk to you soon.